welcome here to more Talk FCB and welcome back to the channel here today, guys, where we are going to be delving into the quite sensitive topic of this Barca refereeing scandal. Because over the past few days and weeks, there's been a lot of noise about this situation. I've had a lot of questions about it, understandably. But I think the really important thing straight from the beginning here, guys, is when something like this happens... You've got to take that step back. We have to understand here all of the facts. We have to understand the entire picture before we then jump into an opinion on it. I think that's definitely a sentiment these days that is lost in the media. Because what they want to do when something like this happens, when a big story like this emerges, they just jump on it. They run with it as quickly as they possibly can. You're seeing big headlines about Barca. Some of them are absolute nonsense. So today, we're going to be discussing it all, the facts, what we know about this refereeing scandal. Because right now, what we know at this stage is that on Friday, the Spanish prosecutor's office have officially filed a complaint against Barcelona as a club and also several former club officials over alleged payments to a company owned by a senior refereeing official who goes by the name there of Enriquez Negrera. That is the man there who this entire controversy surrounds there. Payments made from Barcelona, which have made their way to Negrera. As Barca are said to have made their payments to that company, totaling a reported 7 million euros between the years of 2001 right the way up to 2018 when the payments there came to an end. So what we have there are payments totaling around 7 million across a 17 year period. Now the club do indeed acknowledge that it had paid for a service which it describes there as an external technical consultant to effectively compile video reports related to professional referees at the top level. So in the same way maybe that you get their full reports, you pay for reports on opposition teams, on opposition players, things that you need to look out for, things that you need to watch. What Barca are saying right now is that they feel they paid for reports specifically relating to referees. And the club right now say that is standard practice among professional clubs. However... It is this part right here, which I feel right now just seems to be conveniently and ever so conveniently going under the radar because nobody seems to be even talking about this part here because the complaint from the prosecutor's office that came yesterday, that seems to specifically target the period between 2014 to 2018. That is the real period under question where to absolutely nobody's surprise, ex-Barca presidents Sandro Rosé and also Josep Maria Bartomeu have both be named in relation to the alleged corruption charges. So both Sandra Rosé and Bartomeu have been named publicly by the prosecutor's office with relation there to corruption. Which, like I say, if you are even the slightest bit familiar with either of these two men, Sandra Rosé, Bartomeu, you will not be surprised to hear that they're at the heart of alleged corruption. Because these are two men who have simply dragged this club's name through the mud since the very second that they arrived through its door and yet again here it is our club that may prove to be the victim of their actions when they were in charge as the club's presidents. And also on Friday, following there the official complaint by the Spanish prosecutor's office, Barca as a club did release an official statement which firmly stated there that they will fully cooperate with the investigation. They reiterate firmly that they have never bought any referee, nor have they tried to influence any official's decisions. That is something really important to stress here. Barca completely deny any wrongdoing in terms of influencing a game. Anything like that, they say that didn't happen. And what we do have to stress, very importantly at this stage, and again, this is something that in the media seems to go under the radar, all of these claims are indeed allegations. At this point, nothing has been proven. Barca had not been proven to have undergone any wrongdoing. And despite the determination there of the media to jump on this as quickly as they possibly can, I also do feel that the timing of all this is interesting. But we are going to have to wait now for the full investigation to give us the full picture. I thought it was also interesting today to see Real Madrid chiming in. Now, up until this point, Real Madrid had been very, very quiet about this refereeing situation because unlike the other clubs in La Liga, they didn't really want to bring a case against Barca. They didn't want to pursue this any further. Real Madrid didn't seem to want to get involved when it comes to referees. But today, they have said that they will meet 
now to decide the next step, given the seriousness of these claims from the prosecutor's office. But one thing as well that I have to make absolutely clear when it comes here to La Liga, when it comes to things that are out on the field, at this stage, there is absolutely no suggestion that Barca, as a club, will receive sporting sanctions. I'm talking there in terms of points deductions, in terms of titles being stripped, all of that kind of stuff, because these are the kind of scaremongering things that you're going to hear. The media, when it comes to Barca, they are going to give you the worst case scenario every single time. But at this stage, no sporting sanction is expected for Barca. There could be a fine. That is certainly something that may well be on the table. If found guilty, of course, there's also the possibility that charges could be made against Rossay, against Bartomeu. Could they actually be firmly punished for their role in this situation? That's going to be interesting to see. But like I say at this point, guys, we are awaiting the full investigation. Barca are going to comply with that. They are going to certainly cooperate with the Spanish prosecutor's office. And I hope in the end that we can have transparency on this situation and clarification of exactly what those payments were, how exactly it took place. And if there even was any wrongdoing. And so that right there, guys, was indeed the sort of latest on what is going on right now. Like I say, we're still finding everything out. You know, nobody knows everything at this stage. Nothing is confirmed. Nothing has been proven or anything like that. We simply have to wait now and see what the investigation will bring. But I just wanted to give you guys here some of the facts that we do have and an update on the situation. I'm not being silent about it. We're not just going to accept what's going on here. But the very fact is we are simply Barca fans. We're here to watch the team out on the field. We're here to support the team wherever that we possibly can. And we as fans, to be fair, we have gone through a lot over these past seasons, especially when you're looking at those two former Barca presidents and what they put us through as fans. We've been punished enough already for their actions. But what we have to do here today is stick together, stay strong as we always have done and as best as we possibly can. Follow those matters out there on the field, on the footballing side. And of course, guys, I will keep you updated with all of the latest developments in this case. Thank you indeed for watching here today. I hope this video brought some light to the situation and I hope that you are all doing well. We'll be talking soon about the Barca versus Athletic game this weekend. That of course is going to be over on the main channel. I will see you soon for that and I thank you indeed for watching and for supporting. But until next time, as always, Vizca El Barca.